I just mentioned that the rules of grammar enforce certain constraints on written and spoken language. Later in the lesson, we will get into a similar set of rules for visualizations and charts called the grammar of graphics. But for now, I simply want to show you a few of the most common chart types. I mentioned that there are a finite amount of possible charts, but even so, finite can still be quite a large number, as you can see here, and there are even more charts that are not included. This is a flowchart created by Andrew Abela to help navigate the somewhat overwhelming amount of different chart types, which in and of itself is quite effective. You can find a larger PDF of this graph on extremepresentation.com, which is Andrew Abela's site. And while the choices of possible chart types may seem very great, you always have to consider how familiar your audience is with a given chart type and how long a graphic takes to digest. When I say digest here, I really mean understand and interpret. 